Hey guys, uh, welcome to Planes Overhead, and uh, on this video we're doing a flex calculation. All right, so uh, before uh, we proceed, actually I would want you to download this RTW chart from the link mentioned in the description below. Download this, get your pen and paper ready, so that uh, you can follow with me on the calculations. All right, and uh, from the chart I want you to note down the elevation, ISA temperature, and the TREF that is on the bottom of the chart. All right. So copy this data. This is what we are going to solve. O A T 25 degrees centigrade. Headwind 5 knots. Q N H 998. Air conditioning on. Engine anti ice on. Dry runway. Actual takeoff is 65,000 kilograms. Structural M T O W is 73,500 kilograms. Find the flex temp and associated V speeds. All right. So Important note, before determining the flexible temperature, calculate the maximum permissible takeoff weight and ensure that the actual takeoff weight is lower than the determined maximum takeoff weight. So your actual takeoff weight has to be lower than the MTOW that you have to find out before going in for flex. If you're, if it is more or equal, you cannot perform a flex takeoff. It has to be a toga takeoff or toga thrust takeoff. All right, and uh, as I told you, uh, just pick up the data from the charts as well. T ref is 44 degrees. That's from the bottom of the chart. Elevation at Chennai is 49 feet. For practical purposes, we are considering it to be zero sea level, and ISA is 15 degrees centigrade. That is at sea level. All right. So this has been noted, and then we can proceed. So five knots of tailwind was given, as you remember, and the weight was 65 uh, tons. So which lies between 64 and 66. So we will find the boxes first. So this is the box here. All right, config one plus F and config two. Okay. So uh, in the RTW explanation, I remember I had told you that this box actually belongs to 66.6 .6 tons of weight. So similarly, I've just noted it down. Weight 66.6 .6 tons. Box temperature 63. And V speeds 45, 45, 46. Here, similarly, 64.6. It is not 64 exactly. It is 64.6. This is a delta weight. Box temperature 66, 44, 44, 44. V speeds have been taken. Config 2. Similarly, this is 0.1 delta weight. So it will be 66.1. As you can see, 66.1 or 66,100 kilograms. Box temperature noted 64 and uh, 43 43 46 and similarly 64.1 box temperature 67 41 41 and 44 okay so once this is noted we proceed since uh, if you remember it is for we have to find for 65000 kilograms the temperatures given in the boxes were for different weights but we need for actual takeoff weight which is 65000 kilograms so I've noted it right 66,600 box temperature 63 just the same data. So I'll find for config 1 plus F and config 2 and then we'll com compare. The first step note down this like the 66.6 is 63 just picked up from here 64.6 66 similarly 66.1 64 64.1 67. All right now what we're going to do is find for 65 through interpolation. So for 2 tons, you just subtract this 66.6 .6 and 64.6 .6, difference is 2, 66 and 63 difference is 3. So for 2 tons of weight, the difference is 3 degrees. All right. And here also, luckily it is to be same 66, 64.1, 2 tons of difference, 3 uh, degrees Celsius of temperature difference. All right. But now on the config 1 plus F, we need 65 tons, which is 0.4 above here. If you add 0.4 to this, then you'll get 65. So, if 2 tons, it is 3, diff 3 degrees difference. How much is it for? 0.4. Okay. Here, we'll add 0.9, as you can see. So, 0.9 is what we have to find out. So, for 2, degree, two tons, difference is 3 degrees. For 0.9, it's how much is what we have to find out. If you do cross multiplication, it comes out to be 0 0.6 degrees Celsius and 1.3 degrees Celsius. So, now this correction has to be apply, applied to the value now 65 ton, for therefore for 65 tons it will be as you can see it is decreasing here 66 to 63 and 64.6 plus 0.4 correction which is 0.6 in temperature since it is decreasing i'll be subtracting here okay so 66 point minus 0.6 is giving 65.4 similarly here also 
point nine if I add here, sixty seven to sixty four it is decreasing. So I'll have to subtract minus one point three. So six for sixty five tons it will be sixty seven minus one point three sixty five point seven. So this will be rounded out to sixty five. Now interestingly, flex is always rounded off to a lower value. You cannot you cannot have a thrust which is not existing. You cannot round it off to sixty six because that thrust will not be developed. So you always round off when you round off you round off flex lower value because lower flex will give you higher thrust which is giving you safety margin. All right. So once this is done, so the temperature for sixty five thousand kilograms in both configs for us is given as sixty five degree. Centigrade. All right. So next we'll find out speeds for 65,000 kilograms. Since the speeds were not exactly for 65 because there were 66.6 .6 different speeds and so on, and here also the same thing. So the rule is lower V1, higher Vr, higher V2. Okay. So now in this case, config one plus F, 144 and 45 is the V1. The difference is one only. So you cannot really, you know, find an average of it. So you just pick up the lower V1, which is what I've done, 144. Now 144 and 45 again difference is one, so you cannot really split it. So take the higher V R, that is 45. 44 and 46 can be split because it's a difference is two, so you can take the middle value approximately, which is 45. On the other side here, there's difference is two here, 141 and 43. So 64.1 is this, and 66.1 is we are finding for 65. So approximately we can take the middle value, which is 142. You have split that. And found the average. Forty-one, forty-three. We have taken forty-two. Forty-four, forty-six. We have taken forty-five. So these are speeds for sixty-five thousand kilograms, and we will be applying any correction that is required. So uh, QNH corrections. Okay, before we go, uh, wet. Since the runway was given dry, I have not considered any wet corrections. Anyway, I will actually uh, the video itself is made for uh, dry conditions. I will be doing another video for wet corrections. All right. So just ignore the wet correction part on this video. So there is no wet correction uh, given on the this thing uh, on the flex temperatures and V speeds anyway for this uh, question. So we will be correcting for QNH. So QNH corrections, 65 is what we found the flex, and 998 was our QNH, which gives us minus 15 delta QNH. And if you go to the column, it will turn out to be minus two. And here also it is minus two. Okay, this comes from the headwind column, of course. So you apply this correction: 65 minus 2, 63; 65 minus 2, 63. Very important point written here: no speed correction is required for QNH because QNH affects air density, and air, air density affects flex, which is basically the thrust produced by the engine. So the thrust is dependent on the air density, but it doesn't affect speeds. So QNH, there will be no. Speed corrections, even though it is minus one, minus one is written. This is for MTOW calculations. All these V speed corrections are for MTOW calculations, not for flex calculations or V speed calculations. All right. So once this is done, we have found 63 and 63 in both cases. Now air conditioning corrections. Air conditioning was on, but the the RTW chart is made for off conditions. So I will just go to the column, and as you can see here, it is minus three on both sides. Okay. So once this is done, 63, 63 minus three, minus three, 60 degrees centigrade, 60 degrees centigrade. I've subtracted and I've got. Again, no speed corrections is required for air conditioning because air conditioning does not affect the V speeds. Okay. Done. So these corrections are also done. Now anti-ice correction. In the question, engine anti-ice was given on. So this is the table from performance take off take off data 24 from the fcom effect of qnh and bleeds up to 9200 feet so engine anti ice on we have to subtract 5 degrees but there's a star mark here as you can see corrections valid only for oat greater uh, less than 10 degrees centigrade so this correction also does not hold good so in case if it was because the oat given in the question is 25 i just gave that uh, for an example because anyway if The OAT is 25. You will anyway not be using engine anti-ice. So just to show you that this is the table that exists in the FCOM. All right. So anti-ice correction is done. CG corrections. This is also from the FCOM. So if the RTW chart is based on CG being at 25 percent, the crew can find the takeoff performance at a more forward CG by decreasing the takeoff weight by 1,000 kilograms and increasing V1, VR, V2 by one knot. So generally, all the charts are made by 25 percent CG is the basic certified limit on which all takeoff competitions are ba based. 
if the operational cg is above 27 percent then these corrections are to be given this is also just for your knowledge so we are assuming that it's a 25 percent cg chart so final flex and v speeds after the calculations we have found out that it's 60 degrees on both and v speeds are as follows now rules to decide which flex temp and speeds to choose select the configuration with the higher flex temperature so unfortunately both our flex temperatures are equal okay now if equal then select the configuration with lower v speeds so lower v speeds as you can see config 2 has 142 142 uh, and 45 so that is done we have configuration 2 is what we will be using the next very important number conditions 3 and 4 are ct corrected temperature that is 60 degrees is greater than 080 which was 25 checked that is satisfying corrected temperature again which is 60 degrees that it should be greater than t ref t ref from the chart i told you on the bottom it is 44 so that is also 60 is also greater than 44 so both these conditions have been met and the other condition is ct will be a flex temperature only when limited to isa plus 53 degrees centigrade so 15 was the isa temperature and 53 is this isa plus 53 comes from the fcom so you can just go down to the trust uh, takeoff uh, requirement it is isa plus 53 is the maximum t max flex so it cannot be greater than 68 which is also checked so 60 is less than 68 so this can be done if it is greater than 68 then you cannot do a you cannot perform a flex takeoff it has to be a toga thrust takeoff so the final answer here is config 2 flex temp is 60 degrees centigrade v speeds are 42 42 and 45 so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new and subscribe to the youtube channel like the facebook page for regular updates give the facebook page a review and a rating if you learn something and uh, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and comment below if you have any doubts i'll surely clear it and uh, you can always contact me on the links mentioned youtube facebook whatsapp or email cheers and happy landings guys have a great day in the next video we're gonna do uh, wet conditions flex takeoff all right see you bye